HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Welcome to the Having It All podcast, the show about what it takes to live an abundant, loving life. My name is Matthew Bivens, and each week I'm helping you get out of your head so that you can truly have it all. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? Matthew Bivens here, and welcome to the podcast. I'm pumped that you're here hanging out with me, and if this is your first time, welcome. I'm hoping that you get some some power, some encouragement, some tools, some juice from this conversation. And if it's not your first time, then welcome back. Happy to have you here. Today's episode is all about commitments and exploring the role that that emotions play in helping us to keep our commitments. And it's inspired by this fast that I'm currently doing. So for a few years, I was fasting once a week. Every Monday, I would do a juice fast. And so I would stop eating Sunday night, you know, dinner time. And I would fast all the way until Monday at dinner time. And I've been doing that for a number of years. And then when Sarah and I got pregnant, I stopped. And what was interesting is the reason I stopped has a lot to do with the topic today. And it's because of emotions. It's because I didn't want to do it anymore. And so I'm back on it. I had a conversation with a couple of friends a few weeks ago and I was describing fasting and what it meant to me and all of that. And I realized this is kind of hypocritical or maybe fraudulent of me to talk about the benefits of of doing these intermittent fasts for myself when I haven't been doing them in a long time. So last week I got back on and here we are a week later and it's Monday and it's about 2 p.m. So I'll be breaking the fast in a few hours. And I am bundled up right now. I've got my, my hoodie on. I've got gloves on. I've got a heater going on in the room because whenever I'm fasting, I get really cold. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting thing. And couple that with the fact that it's freaking cold as heck right now in Atlanta and it's middle of March, but you know it's like 30 something degrees outside. So I'm definitely feeling the impact uh, physically of this fast. You know, along with being cold, you know, I'm hungry. You know, I've got juice with me right now, but some green juice. I've got water, but it doesn't really satisfy that that feeling of of hunger the way that food does. So I've got that going on. And along with feeling hungry, sometimes I get a little irritable. I know last week Sarah would definitely agree with that. I was pretty irritable throughout the day. And uh, I'm just going through the the emotional pull that I feel with fasting, and it's really fascinating. HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. 
And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step -step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to hellofresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to hellofresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. It is Ryan here and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woohooer, a hand clapper, a high fiver. I kind of like the high five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At chumbacasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses. So don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. DTW, void, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. And, you know, the reason why I do this is precisely because. I get a fantastic opportunity each week to explore my emotional attachments. In this case, it's my attachment to food. And, you know, I've told this story a number of times on the show. Uh, it's about the very first fast that I did. And, you know, was, this was three or four years ago. I had all my, my, my supplies ready to go and I'm at my desk. I received an email from a client that, you know, the, the client was not happy, so it created a bit of stress in me. And I'm on my fast, but I reached sort of instinctively to where I normally keep my snacks. And that was the first time that I recognized that I had an emotional attachment to food, that when I was feeling stressed or anxious or, you know, whatever, particularly those disempowering feelings, then I would turn to food, especially sweets. And I think it was that sugar that, that I crave, um, sugar and salts, that would really just help me feel better emotionally. So here I am uh, doing this fast today, and it's giving me an opportunity to explore my attachments. And I love it particularly for that reason. Because as I've been, I don't know, becoming more aware of myself over the years, and as I've had others point things out, like my life coach, uh, who's helped point out to me just how strong my emotions play in my decision making, I realize that when it comes to commitments, when it comes to me making a commitment and holding my commitment, the reason why I continue to break certain commitments, it has everything to do with emotions, simply not wanting to do something. And it's funny because I allow myself to get frustrated when I break a commitment. Like for example, if I tell myself that I'm going to uh, meditate every day for a week and then I don't do it. And I get mad at myself because I'm thinking you can't even keep a simple habit like 10 minute meditation. What's going on, man? What's wrong with you? Why can't you keep that commitment to yourself? And I would just get in this cycle of berating myself whenever I would break those commitments. Um, or in certain cases, I wouldn't even make a commitment because I felt that at a certain point, my emotions would kick in and I wouldn't want to do it. And so I just wouldn't make a commitment in the first place. And, you know, I appreciate the awareness that my coach gives me, that fasting gives me around the role that my emotions play. Because, you know, I understand that emotions are incredibly important. And I consider myself an emotional person. I also consider myself an emotionally aware person. And so... I want to be able to use emotions when they serve me best. And so in this land of, of making, keeping commitments, emotions don't serve me. They really don't serve me too well. And I can bring up many examples in my own life of when my emotions have sabotaged my commitments. And that's what I want to bring to your attention today as well. You know, where in your life are your emotions coming into play and just completely undermining a commitment that you make? And then where do you criticize yourself or criticize another person or, or whatever it is because that commitment got broken? 
And where might you be failing to realize the connection that your emotions play in all of it? Because as I just go inward in my own life, in my own journey, and as I do things like this weekly fast, I really see, man, you know, it's my emotions that kick in when it's Saturday morning and normally I go for a, a four mile run with a group of people, but the alarm goes off and I just don't feel like getting up, right? Or it's my emotions that kick in when I make this internal commitment to call my grandmother every week, but on my drive, you know, my 30 minute commute into town, I'd rather listen to sports instead. Or it's, or it's my emotions that kick in when I tell myself that on my balance chart, which is the, the tool that I use to keep track of my habits and to create healthy habits in my life, when I tell myself that I'm going to score a 90% or above, and it's Sunday evening and I've got a 60, and that means I have to put in a lot of uh, time to get those points, my emotions kick in and they say, eh, you don't really need to do that. And it's my emotions that kick in when I make these commitments to speak Sarah's love language because, you know, one of her love languages is quality time and, and words of affirmation. And sometimes I just don't feel like it. Sometimes I'd rather watch a basketball game than, than spend that quality time. Or sometimes my tank might be low, so affirming her is something I just don't feel like doing. And it's creating this awareness in my life at the role the emotions play. And as I do that, then I realize, okay, I can choose different than what my emotions are wanting in this moment. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day, Lil. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Lucky Land Casino. Asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. And so this fast that I'm doing right now gives me a chance to practice that. Because for me... It's one thing for me to know something, you know, to understand this is how my mind operates, this is how my body operates. It's another thing for me to actually practice and experience it. That for me is where the lesson really sinks in. It, that's really where it, it can take root within me when I practice it and I keep that practice going. So I really wanted to use this episode as an invitation. I want to invite all of you to practice with me. Let's all choose something small that we can commit to for the rest of the month so that we can practice keeping our commitments despite our emotions. So it can be a daily habit. It can be a weekly habit. Whatever you choose, doesn't matter. But whatever it is, you got to stick to it. So for me, I'm going to keep up my weekly fasting. Every Monday for the rest of the month, I'm going to do a 24-hour juice fast. From Sunday evening to Monday evening, I'm going to be doing it. No matter how I feel, no matter what comes up for me, no matter if I have a, a business meeting at the most delicious restaurant in town, and they're like, oh, no, no, get whatever you want. Yeah, it's on me. I'm not going to give in to my emotions. I'm going to stick to this. I'm going to keep my commitment. So that's what I'm going to do. So here are some examples that can get you going. Maybe you want to do a five-minute meditation each morning. So before you start your day, set a timer, find a quiet place, do five minutes of meditating. Or maybe you want to do 10 push-ups in the morning. You know, again, before you get going, hop out of bed, crank out 10 push-ups, boom. Or maybe at the end of the day, you want to do five minutes of gratitude journaling. You could also make a commitment to call a family member. Or call a loved one, someone you haven't spoke to in a while, and do that once a week. 
Or maybe you want to go for a walk outside. You know, it's getting to be springtime. It's beautiful here in Atlanta when it's not windy and cold. And so maybe you just make a commitment to go outside every day. Take a little walk around your neighborhood. Or maybe you want to send an affirmation to a friend. Shoot them a text. Send them something affirming, something that will make them smile. Or how about committing to go to bed earlier? Go to bed 15 minutes earlier. Or wake up 15 minutes earlier. Or maybe you could spend some time reviewing your budget at the end of every week. Sarah and I do it on Sundays. Just carve out 15 minutes. Sit down and just go through your numbers. Or maybe you want to be extra proactive and you want to spend 10 minutes at the beginning of your week writing down your intentions for the week. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. You choose the habit and you choose the frequency. And together, we'll do it for just this month. Because it's really about doing something small in your life that can have a big impact. What we're doing is exploring our emotions and how our emotions come into play and they create obstacles for us to keep our commitments. That's what this is about. So this is about keeping commitment to ourselves, right? And to create a little bit of accountability around this, I want you to share your commitment with me. And so if you want to share your commitment with me, you can do so in a couple of ways. First, you can email me, mattcbivens at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up at Twitter. I don't think I've ever given out my Twitter handle on this show. I don't really use my Twitter a whole lot. But for this, I will monitor it. And that's at Matt Bivens, M-A-T-T-B-I-V-E-N-S. That's me on Twitter. And you can also, oh, I'll give you my Instagram as well. I don't do much on Instagram either, but you can find me there. And for this month, I'll monitor it and we can connect. And that's Matthew underscore Bivens. So those are three ways to get in touch with me, email, Twitter, and Instagram. And just share with me whatever your commitment is. And I would love to to be there to support you, to you know, act as, as an accountability partner for you in this practice of just holding our commitments and showing up for ourselves despite our emotions. So regardless of how you're feeling, you're going to show up. And even if the habit that you're choosing, even if the activity you're choosing is for someone else, like giving somebody a phone call or sending someone an affirmation, you still are showing up for yourself when you perform that, that action. Because you're telling yourself that this is important enough to me that I'm going to show up. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited to continue to explore for myself. I'm excited to see what comes up for you. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see you know, what we can create and flow into the rest of our year with. So please connect with me. I'd love to hear from you. And with that, we keep this episode short and sweet today. <laughs> My name is Matthew Bivens, and here is to you having it all. Quick note about the Having It All podcast. I am not a doctor nor a licensed therapist. I'm a guy with a story and a passion for conscious conversation. My thoughts, opinions, and beliefs are my own. So please consult with your doctor or healthcare provider regarding any questions or issues you have related to your personal, physical, or mental health. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.